Hey yo captains, welcome back guys to another analysis video. Now in this one I'll be discussing a project by Australia's national carrier Qantas to start direct flights between southeastern Australia and the rest of the world. But before I begin I want to give a shout out to Space Guru for providing me the information for this video. Go check out his YouTube channel with the link in the description. So guys let's start with a brief history lesson of the kangaroo rule. Now Qantas flew the first route on 1st of December 1947 with a Lockheed Constellation carrying 29 passengers from Sydney to London with various stops in different cities. Now a return fare was £585 equivalent to 130 weeks average pay. Since then the duration and number of stops have improved a lot and earlier this year Qantas did their Perth to London route with non-stops. Considering how much success that route has actually generated for the airline they're now looking towards the future. Now at the time when this video was made, Qantas had an interest in two main aircraft that will be able to make the distance. These are the 777X and the A350-900 ULR. Now each of these aircraft have their own pros and cons, so let's dive into those. Now the outstanding feature for the A350 is its extremely fast delivery time. Right now Airbus are saying that they will be able to have those aircraft delivered from late 2019 to mid 2020 provided Qantas orders the aircraft fairly soon. However, Qantas have stated that they will not be ready to place an order for the project sunrise until around 2020. Now at this stage, Boeing doesn't have a clear date with the 777X still being in development and testing, and they cannot make any guarantees. But during the Farnborough Air Show, we received word that Airbus are considering a stretched version of the A350-1000, which will feature more fuel tanks and an increase in the aircraft's range. Now although the stretch version was indicated as an option for Qatar Airways, there is a huge possibility that Qantas could opt for this aircraft. Both Airbus and Boeing have been working closely with the airline to optimise the A350 and the 777-A respectively. They're currently looking at cities like New York, Chicago, Brazil and other cities in Europe as later possibilities. But if we look at their route right now, the Melbourne to Heathrow route is operated by the 787-9. Considering the success that this route has seen, despite the torturous long distance, the airline are looking at an aircraft configuration that gives them some flexibility and opportunity for around 300 passengers and good economics. Now it'll be very interesting to see what answer Boeing can come up with and if Airbus can deliver a stretched A350-1000 then we could see Qantas ordering that plane over the Boeing 777X. Now it will be very interesting to see how this scenario will develop and what aircraft the airline will actually order. But what I want to know from you guys is, which aircraft do you think Qantas should go for? The 777 or the A350? Let me know your opinions and thoughts in the comment section below. Remember guys, I'll be going live tomorrow at the Farnborough Air Show at 3pm UK time. I'll be giving you a tour around the facility and showing you all of the planes that the air show has to offer. So be sure to check that out. Remember to like and subscribe guys if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.